I heard my boy Dak Zander is in here working out with none other than Chris Preston. I gotta see what transpired after the rise. Come on guys, let's get this. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it ain't the hot boys. Let's check it out. They're killing us. They're killing us, Jamoke. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> the big killer. What's going on? Hey, can I can I borrow Dax for a second, big daddy? Huh? Yeah, you need that? <laughs> yeah. Hot boys. Look at that. Hot boys. Look at that, huh? Oh, man. Hi. Hey, big killers, good people. Yeah. Love you, bro. Love you too, brother. Yeah, you can't beat that, Take baby. Take care of him. All right. Take care of him. Nice to meet you, Dax. How you doing, Todd? All right, all right. My man, uh, Dax Zander. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for this me one. Me too, baby. Thank you for joining me, Dax. Thank you for having me. Hey, it's my pleasure. This is going to be one of my favorite interviews right up there with old Rydell, man. All right, oh, everybody yeah. else. Debo. Everybody else. <laughs> God. I mean, like, I mean, I'm taking exception here because I came to your place, right? Right. Came to your place at the gym. Wanted to get my full, wanted to get the full view of what happened at the rise, man, where you seized the opportunity to shock the world, baby. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> so tell me what Justin had to say about that. Justin. Justin saying, our commissioner. <laughs> Justin, Justin, man. You know, Justin is a loser. Let's get that. Off the bat, right I now. I second that. He's a, <laughs> he's a martial mouth breather. <laughs> you know, he came up to me and he said it was a some foolery that I pulled. Ah, yeah. Is that um, what he called it? He called it that, but I call it an opportunity. Exactly. I was given an opportunity by Chris Preston. Exactly. And I capitalized. Mm -hmm. And it's all Justin's fault because he took away an opportunity for me. For me? Yeah. What? What in the world is he thinking? to take away an opportunity from me. Quite possibly one of the most athletic specimens ever come through the school of lines. And Justin goes upon himself to try to hold you back, right? Right. So what did I tell you in the back at Rise when you had when I saw you with that ref shirt on again? Tell the people what I told you. You told me that I am not a referee. No. I'm a star. That's then, exactly what you told yeah, me. Yeah, losers. <laughs> Wear referee stripes. We don't wear three. stripes. No, no, no. You're no, sir. You're not a zebra. You're a, you're a tiger. Right. Tell them about the tiger, Dad. Do I look <laughs> like I'm 60 years old? Do I look <laughs> proud of your life, baby? Do Tell I them look about it. <laughs> like I weigh 110 pounds? Do I look like I wear glasses and a do rag and an old crunchy oh, beard? Oh, this is specific. <laughs> yeah. No. Look at me. No. The body, the hair, the face, yeah. the athleticism. Yeah. Does it scream ref? No. And, and you put in the work in the gym. Yeah, right? right now, baby. Exactly. Right? I came to your element to catch this, right? So I got to ask you, a couple of guys in that match feel a certain way about what you did. My first one is Kilgore Nix. He has gone to Justin and whined to get a match against you at the Rock and Wrestling Fest. Here in Tyler. This is going to be in Tyler yep. on the 7th. So uh, Kilgore, he's a great... Hell of a wrestler, but he ain't a he ain't a generational talent like yourself. No. So tell me about how you feel about Kilgore Nix. I could say that Kilgore Nix is not a hot boy. Hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I watched Kilgore's video. Yeah. All I did was hear him complain, complain, complain. He did a lot of that. A lot of complaining. It was not a good look. No. He's a loser. He's a dweeb. He's a noob. <laughs> oh, speaking of noobs. Brother, them. brother, they are. There are some people on the on the internet that are calling you uh, a backstabber, a noob, a scab, scab, me, a scab. You, like, they're calling someone that they can't even lace their boots. They're they're calling you all these derogatory terms, right? But they're people that can't hold a candle to you. They're not hot boys. No. They're lame boys. Lame boys. <laughs> you know, they're behind the computer, typing their little fingers. Keyboard tough. I yeah. hate people like that. Keyboard right? warriors. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, uh, they don't have 40 inch vertical like me. Oh, my man got they hops. Are, they aren't a, a former college athlete like me. <laughs> they are noobs, oh, he, not me. I think we're shooting right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're shooting right now. This is not supposed to be a shoot. No, sorry. <laughs> That's sorry. the lame shovel. <laughs> 
you can also find that on YouTube. All right. Hey, anyway, back back to business. So Kilgore Nicks, he's a lame. Square. All right, back to Jeremy Preston. He's my least favorite Preston. However, since he's back in the scene now, he decided to grace us with his presence. Ugh. He is a thorn in my main man's side. I, I hear that you personally want a match against Jeremy Preston at the next show here at D Rock Gym. I do. You know, when I did what I did at Rise, yeah. I took the opportunity, uh, opportunity away from Kilgore. And who is Jeremy Preston to come up and get in my face after I did what I did? Who is he to do that to me? He's the, he's, the, he's the worst of the Prestons. Right. The little nephew that nobody likes. I don't even like him. And I implored him for so long. Good grief. Anyway, back on track, all right? <laughs> Tell me what you think about the new alliance with you and Chris Preston, the Hot Boys. Well, you know, when I made my debut at, in August at It's a Dirty World, I was I, like I was yeah. adored by the fans. You know, I, I was, heard the pop. I sit over here in the booth, which is why I've never heard a pop. I got it. <laughs> I've only heard it one other time, and it was Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All but right. You see, Justin Sane took that opportunity away from me. Did you not hear that? Did you not that, see that what happened? Been a little jealous, right? I mean, Justin is he's he's a uh, he's out to pasture like me. So uh, he might, you know, see like he right. he might have intentions, like he's doing the right thing, holding the kid back. However, I feel like he's stifling a once in a lifetime talent, right. you know. But you know who did see me, Chris Preston. Chris Preston saw what I was capable of, capable of. He gave me an opportunity, and now we are the Hot Boys. Great thing. It's gonna be a great thing. Sexiest team alive, is that what you said? Sexiest team <laughs> alive. All right, here we go. I got, I got a note from the producer. All right, so like, share, and subscribe. We're on the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Is it X now? X? X, Twitter, whatever X, you want X, Twitter. Uh, TikTok, you don't stop, because we do have a TikTok, contrary to some jamoke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about, did I miss anything? Instagram, that's my favorite one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, IG, IG, baby. All right, so, my final judgment, Dax. Hey, brother, I, brother, brother. Hey, man, oh, I hate, my I hate, man, my I man. hate interrupting the big killer con, but. <laughs> anytime, baby, You know anytime. what, let huh? me give you my final judgment. Tell me about it, baby. Hot boy, Dax Xander, me. future Lionheart champion. Oh, book it. Future tag team champions. <laughs> Book it. You know what? This ain't even a limb. I'm not going out on it. This is facts. Future League of Lions champion. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, wow. Right here. I like that. I like yeah. that. Hey, I couldn't have said it better myself. Remember, everybody, go on our socials, our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube especially. TikTok. TikTok, you don't stop because we do have one. Ha-ha. <laughs> All right, baby. Later. Hot Boys out. Boom!